Alors, on vient de terminer la conférence de presse de Black Magic Design et on nous a présenté vraiment une tonne de produits, en fait beaucoup de produits, euh, beaucoup de 4K, beaucoup de Doge, on a parlé de CG l'année dernière, des, la caméra, des switchers, des enregistreurs, euh, et du Sintel aussi. Donc, euh, ben, on va, euh, on est avec Kendall, on va parler, on va faire le tour un peu des features qu'on a vu, il va falloir nous en parler plus en détail. So. So, Kendall, it was a nice pre press conference. Tons of new products, all for, in uh, well for cameras, recording, uh, uh, conversion, and uh, the new Centel uh, scanner. So um, here we're with the uh, production camera. Can you? Just talk a bit about it. It's sure, a brand new sure. product. Well, there's two versions of the production camera. So this is actually the studio camera, yeah. and there's an so HD version. Yeah. Be, yeah, it'll be two thousand yeah. dollars. There's an ultra HD version that'll be three thousand dollars. They both come with a micro four thirds lens mount, so you can do ring adapters and put on pretty much any lens you want on there. This camera is really meant for live production, mm -hmm. so you're not going to have any kind of recording device in there. Of course, you can always hook up one of our HyperDex. You can record to it if you wanted to, yeah. but it's really meant to go to our ATEM switchers. So you can see here on the side, you have your XLR audio built in, you have a mic control, headphone jack, so it does have tally and talkback built in. So built in, you, you had this like white pack that you had before for tally and uh, control. Yeah, and, so uh, you can, you can, so now it's all, it's yeah. all in there. You can do that, yeah. and you can go to our camera control and our studio con uh, converter, and you yeah. can go through yeah. to the ATEMs and do that, yep. And the other side here, if we switch it around, you have your 12 volt power, you have your SDI in and out, reference for uh, Genlock, and then of course you have your optical fiber, you can go into the switcher for long runs, things like that. Beautiful 10 inch screen here. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Go through iris focus control, if you have a electronic lens on the front, you'll get all those functions on there. The nice thing about this is there is a camera control software built in now to the ATEM, so you can do live color grading with a color wheel right into it. And all of the ATEM switchers are going to be updated eventually with that software and they will have a new uh, interface that'll be built and that'll yeah. all be a new update to all of the ATEM switchers. Yeah, so that's real new. Yeah, usually we at CCUs working on the uh aperture or brightness and balancing some white balance yeah. but now we, we're going like a step further with a three-way color correction that's right. yeah. so and so it's controlled by the ATEM software yeah, exactly. but the processing is done in camera in so camera yeah so it'll only work with this camera you can go in, but you can go in like you said and you can do all of the shading all the colors and from what I understand you can set up uh, favorites too so if you did like a, a chroma or you did something you know monotone you can have that as a favorite and then go in or a certain look You can always do that setting in that camera control. Cool. So, uh, can we go and see the switcher? Yeah, let's, let's, oh, let's go there. there. Yeah. So we have the new. This is the new 2ME switcher. 20 inputs on this switcher now. And you can see here it has a nice LCD screen. Uh, you can do all your switching right on the front panel here, and you're going to get a visual update on that, which so is great. So the previous 2ME didn't have buttons on it? No, it didn't have the front of got... buttons, no. And the previous one was 16. This one is actually 20 inputs, and it's $1,000 less than, than the previous model. And the one, great. Previous, one were, previous one was HD, and this one is Ultra this HD. This one can go to Ultra HD. That's the other thing I should say, is that last year we really started the uh, process of implementing the uh, 6 gig SDI connection yeah. so you can get up into Ultra HD. Of course, on all the 6 gig you can do SD and HD, but it gets you into the Ultra HD. Now we really put that across almost the entire product line where we put it into the new converters, um, into the new uh, routers which we have right here, the Smart Video Hub. So we have a new 12 by 12 and you can see here we actually have a screen on the front where you can go through and you can do all of your visual routing right here, which is really nice. All of these can do SD, HD and of course Ultra HD and we have a 20 by 20 here. So this one is $13.95 US, this will be $19.95 US. And the production switcher here, you can go through and of course hook these up to the uh, studio cameras here, the production uh, studio camera. So yeah. And the, these uh, are multi formats, they can accept one input as HD, one as 4K yes. and rooted. Yes, exactly. Yeah, so they're very versatile. And then uh, I guess the other thing we should talk about is the Ursa camera, which we could probably pop down there and, and look at that in a second if you want to go through the specs on the Ursa camera. Of course. Yeah, let's do it. So Kendall, we're now in front of the well. We'll see you soon. But uh, the very new, very new camera, like production camera, to really use on the field with all the professional team 
working around it so is the Ursa. So can you talk a bit more about it? Ursa camera is really set up for uh, production in a workflow environment. So you can have a DOP, there's a 10 inch screen on the side there, 1920 by 1080, beautiful screen. You could have the DOP sitting back looking at that. And then on each side of the camera, there's actually a, a touch screen. It has a video you can play in there too, but you'd have an audio guy on one side who would be going through, you can see the scopes and all the audio meters in there. On the other side, you actually can go through the menu options and set it up for uh, focus uh, and assist so the focus assist can get in there and be full and focused. Nice thing about this camera is that it comes right now we're going to ship in a PL um, in July we'll ship in a PL mount mm -hmm. and also an EF mount. So the EF mount is 6,000 the PL is 6,500. Down the road towards the end of the year we'll have a B4 mount and then they're actually going to make one that will have no sensor in it at all and if you have like a favorite DSLR you can hook it on the front of the camera go HDMI into the body of the camera and still get all the attributes and features of that camera. Um, one and it thing just I, become a what? Well, yeah, in my version could be like a very good recorder, but you can actually mount the camera in front of the, the body where the lens will be. Exactly. Yeah. So if you had a DSLR, that would be your camera, that would be your sensor. If you like the way the look of that camera is, then you'd have all the features that come with that camera with, like we said, the, the LCD screen on the side there, all of the touch screen. So you can have more people working on the camera if you need to. Uh, the nice thing about this camera, too, is that down the road, if other sensors come out that are better, you can go in and you can pull that sensor out and replace it. So it's a, it's a user that can go in there and actually do that and change that out. And then on the back, of course, we have a, a where you can put in a plate for like an IDX or Anton Bauer battery packs. has XLR, has a reference so you can go in and do all your gen lock and things like that. The other great thing about this camera is on the front you have a uh, 12 volt power, another 12 volt power, and an SDI out, specifically if you want to go and do like an eyepiece. Yeah, yeah put that in there. Cool. And uh, so you're going to have a lot of uh, accessories that you'll uh, we, we probably, no, we probably won't. That's, that's the primary reason why we made this. Of course, we have the other cameras, and we're still going to back those cameras and update them yeah. with software and things like that. Um, but with that 4K camera and that cinema camera, we noticed people were really rigging them up mm -hmm. the way this camera already is built. Where you have, a, you know, that's great. You can go in through and accessorize with third parties, and you can really customize the camera to your liking. But this one comes that way, where it already has it set up for the battery packs and XLR. Everything's built into it. It's ready to go. Yeah. More of a workflow camera for production. Yeah, so the price you pay at first, like, it's most like, you add the lens to that and you're ready to go. Ready to go. Yeah, so. exactly. Battery on the back and then, yeah. So, and uh, as a recording format, what's, what's the recording it's format? ProRes right now and then down the road we see going to uh, the RAW format will be in there. Okay. Yeah. Cool. And uh, it's working on, you're going to record on a compact it records, flash? It records the C, uh, CFast cards. Okay, so new form, the new format, faster. Exactly, CFast. And there's two slots in there, so if it fills up one, it will automatically switch over just like in our HyperDex. Okay. And you have a, is there a Thunderbolt input output on there like on the other no, cameras? No, not on this one. No, it's okay. all it's all going to be the uh, SDI connections. Yeah. yeah. Well, you have all the scopes ready on it, so yeah, exactly. All so the scopes, audio meters, self everything in there. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Cool. Yeah. So we're now in front of the new Sintel scanner. Mm -hmm. You redesigned, well, you bought the, the company about 18 months ago. Yeah, roughly. And uh, so this is a, like, redesigned completely uh, scanner that will bring you film in 2D 4K well. That's so. right. So you can take 35 millimeter film, just run it through the scanner, it'll come out in Ultra HD. And you can actually do that through a Thunderbolt 2 connection right to your laptop. So you can go through it. It does come with Resolve. And the great thing about this is that Centel was known for its uh, grain reduction and image stabilization. That comes free actually with the uh, with the scanner itself. Now here at NAB, we're actually showing it as a technology preview just so we can get feedback from the customers before we send it out, out the door and make sure that we have everything in there the customers are looking for. Right now, we have a price at $30,000. And what's the idea behind it? Because, we, well, we shoot less and less film. Yes. And now you're there, there will be a new, like, 35 mil scanner. So why? Well, <laughs> uh, primarily just because the, the technology is so amazing. And there are a number of companies out there, a number of television shows out there that still uh, older shows that shot on 35. They're just mm -hmm. sitting on the shelf. So they want to be able to take that in and, and turn them into uh, Ultra HD. I know a number of the sitcoms that were shot, a number of the old shows were shot in 35. Well, you can take yeah. those now and easily convert them into an Ultra HD 
shot. Yeah. And get access again to this footage and all these good shows, exactly. great shows yeah. now. Yeah, it'll be in a format. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So, uh, and uh, no, right now you're kind of testing, meeting with customers for uh, like what, what they will like. So when should it like get into the market? They, well, it, right now it's pretty much ready to go. So okay. it's just a matter of what they want to add in, what kind of feedback they get to make sure that it has all the all the bells and whistles that everyone's looking for. Yeah. So can't tell you exact date on that, <laughs> but I would think I would think fairly soon. Yeah. Okay. So now while well, we've got a scanner, like you can go from film to 4K. We've got cameras like from like can shoot 4K, and we've got also a bunch. Uh, we've got all the production workflow like yes. with, the, with the switchers and hubs and. Uh, uh, we've also went went through uh, delivery with uh, all the uh, the new cards that are in our 4K2. Exactly, yeah. and then we did like uh, we were talking about earlier. We did upgrade all of the uh, SDI connections for six gigs, so you can't get an Ultra HD. You can do the SDHD and get an Ultra HD. We even did that on the Terran X, where we went in and we did a 12 gig connection, so you can get into the 60p frame rates. So the new Terran X Express is going to be 13.95, and you can go in and you can do HD and come convert it to Ultra HD, or you can go Ultra HD and convert it down to HD. So I think that's going to be a nice tool for people. Yeah, so because now we're going to see more and more of both formats, a lot of HD still the standard exactly. and more and more 4K, so yeah. it's going to be easier to go from one to the other with the Terranex Express. Terranex Express, yeah. A number of people are shooting Ultra HD right now, but they still need to send it out on the airwaves in HD, so it'll be a nice feature. So. Um, Thank you, Kendall. It's going to be, I'm sure it's going to be a great show for you. It does a good news. Yeah. So um, thanks for your time, sure. and uh, we'll no still go around to uh, around of the booth. Thanks. Okay, great. Thank you. Donc, ça conclut le tour du booth de, et des nouvelles de Black Magic. Donc, deux nouvelles caméras, une production vraiment avec un écran fait pour travailler en studio qui se connecte directement avec euh, les nouveaux switchers 4K. Donc, une version de la caméra studio 4K et HD. Euh, nouveau, nouveau switcher aussi euh, 2ME avec euh, plus d'entrées, avec un CCU intégré qui va fonctionner avec les caméras. Et aussi la nouvelle caméra, la Ursa, qui est une caméra 4K avec euh, mount interchangeable et sensor interchangeable. Donc on va avoir une version PL, Canon, on a la version HDMI, en fait qui n'a pas de sensor, mais qui prend le sensor de n'importe quelle caméra qui veut bien lui donner son image. Et on va avoir aussi une version B4 pour mettre euh, des lentilles plus ING dessus, pour euh, se, se promener avec à l'épaule, puis faire des, euh, plus du reportage télé, des trucs comme ça. Euh, sinon, euh, côté Resort, ben, on va le voir euh, bientôt, mais aussi euh, on, a, on est allé beaucoup plus vers, vers les, le, le online et des fonctions aussi d'autocorrect pour, pour la colo. Et euh, ben, on, on a su il y a 18 mois à peu près que Blackmagic avait acheté Sintel, qui est une compagnie qui font des scanners de films. Et là, ils viennent de nous montrer leur version du Sintel Scanner qui permet de scanner la pellicule 35 mm et 16 mm avec toutes les fonctions de, de stabilisation, de degrain, euh, aussi pour les... Euh, qui peut faire du mapping de tous les scratchs. Donc, c'est intégré dans le scanner. Puis on peut, après ça, se brancher en Thunderbolt avec notre portable puis juste capturer l'image. Ça roule en temps réel. Ça permet de prendre du 35 et de le transférer en 4K. Puis on va parler plus de DaVinci Resolve dans la prochaine capsule. À plus tard.